Hello everybody, welcome to Everybody Games. So, I've been playing Kina Bridge of Spirits over the last week, and let me tell you, this game is incredible. The more I play it, the more I fall in love with it. So, today I'm going to show you what I think are the two best upgrades that you need to get now. Seriously, these make the boss battles so much easier. Before we get started, please like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, let's get right into this. So you start the game with your staff. This lets you perform basic light and heavy attacks. You eventually get two more options for combat, and that is the bow and your bomb. The bow is what we will be focusing on in this video. First, let me tell you, this bow is amazing. If you are playing on PS5, the DualSense haptic feedback is incredible. You can really feel the tension as you pull the string on the bow. It's extremely satisfying to use. So with that being said, as soon as you get your bow, you should use it as your primary weapon. I found the staff to be a bit boring to use, so I started giving more attention to the bow and that made my experience with the combat much better. Many enemies have weak spots and are easy to exploit with a well-timed arrow. So what upgrades should you get first? Focus on upgrading your bow first, just in general. And the two main upgrades you want immediately are focus and raw infused arrow. Focus lets you slow down time by pushing R3 and rod infused arrow infuses your arrow with rot at the cost of one rod action. I'll tell you why these are necessary in a bit. You may also want to upgrade the number of arrows available in your quiver, but at the very least, go for focus and rot infused arrow. So now you have your upgrades, so how do you use them in combat? Well, the bow is a long range weapon, so use it in combat to keep your distance from enemies. This includes boss battles. Make your primary focus to keep your distance from any boss and your secondary objective to land as many arrows as possible while trying to hit enemy weak spots. Yes, you can still land melee hits with your staff, but it won't be your primary focus since that will put you directly in harm's way, especially with some of the more difficult bosses that can take you down with a couple of hits. Having trouble hitting enemy weak spots? Well, at this point you've upgraded your bow with the focus upgrade. Slow down time as soon as you have a clear shot at the weak spot. Hitting weak spots is absolutely necessary for boss battles since each hit takes away a big chunk of the boss's HP and often has a staggering effect. Now, onto Rod Infused Arrow. This upgrade is just as important as focus. So, as I said previously, this lets you infuse an arrow with Rot at the cost of one Rot action. This is extremely useful against most bosses. This upgrade essentially staggers the boss and takes a large chunk of their damage. The same effect as if you were hitting a weak spot. Trust me, these will be worthy upgrades and you will not regret it. Anyway, that's all for today. Thanks for joining me and see you on the next video.